So okay. IR, infrared. So do the machines use infrared? You still have to be careful because the HKs use infrared. So it seems like they do. So they you know, they use infrared, but isn't this a devastating capability? I mean, imagine if you were a soldier today and not needing to use night vision, you just got it. Like right. everything you process is in, say you got multiple wavelengths of IR that you can see. You would have such a huge advantage. You have night vision, you can walk around, you can see people like over in that mountain, there's a guy and there's a deer over there and there's a rabbit over there. There's a bird in the sky. Like you can see at night, everything that's warm blooded. It's just an enormous advantage. Like, like, like right now as, as humans, we wear camouflage. We wear camouflage so that it breaks up your outline of what looks like a human. But what would that be for something that's warm, something that's hot? Like you'd have to have clothing that perfectly dials you into the room temperature of everything else around you. Like, that's right. And if you don't, then someone with, night, with infrared is just like, but there boop, it is. Boop. There's no, no point in hiding. Yeah. I can see you. Yeah. It's like in fact, you're making you're making stuff around you warm. Like yeah. I can see that too. Yeah, yeah. It's like putting transparent camo on a glow stick. It's like nothing. It's nothing. Can, camo does nothing. It's nothing. Yep. So he, I feel like Kyle Reese does. It feels like it's such an advantage that the 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 robots would just destroy. Yeah, it, the hunter killers have such an advantage that humans would just how how could you hide? Like even if you had this underground bunker where all the people live, like mm -hmm. it's generating enough heat. Like, like right. the floor doesn't, looking, living in the ground doesn't guarantee that you're thermally invisible. Like right. you're still generating heat. You're still going to get an area that's generally warm compared to the other stuff. Right. And then those, those hovercraft need to be like, yeah, there, it's just, it's there, the glowing thing, the hot thing. Yeah. yeah. And you need to be hyper disciplined about IR leakage from your base and you can't, you can't look at it or see it yourself. So you have, you, you don't know Ooh. if you're leaking. It would just, I just. Ugh, it was Humans so would difficult. make mistakes all the time. You'd have to have like perfectly like dialed in procedures and how to get in and out of your base. Because right. if you mess it up one time, a Terminator walks in and kills everyone. Right. And if you so invisible light, if somebody closes a door, you say we're closing the door because we want to stop the visible light to get out so that people can't see us. But if it's completely see. dark and you're like, hey, close the door, and some dude's like, I don't need to close the door. It's dark. You're it's done. It's dark. You're right. done because you're done because you're you're still irradiating out infrared heat. So people, right. so the the sky bots can see your right. hot spot, even though it's dark. Even though right. it's like new moon, super dark. Mm -hmm. Even even covered, even covered yeah. with like fabric, super dark. But yeah. no, nope, still transparent to infrared. So there would be a lot of people who there'd be a lot of procedures that would be in place that people wouldn't understand that they'd have to do with full discipline all the time, no mistakes, no way, no way. I mean, I'm not even sure that they have good discipline for their base as it is. 